Okay guys, so if you look here, you will see that I have my wonderful apple cider that I always clean my meat with. Um, I am doing lambs, like I said. I'm putting them in the oven, so they're gonna pretty much cook themselves. Um, I'm putting simple ingredients in this as well. And these are the sh shoulder chops. Um, so good. Those of you that don't know, um, these are one of the brands that I like to get. Uh, it's a healthier brand. You kind of want to go to, um, let me turn this down a little bit, to Giants. I always like to go to Giants because I have the bonus card and all that. So I really, I really like to go over there when I cook lamb or seafood or anything like that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing today. If I could see here real quick. Um, yes, um, my son is virtual. My daughter is in regular school. However, um, they both have physicals this morning and I have a lot of stuff that I have to do with them today. So um, I got a busy, busy day. And if not, I'd like to cook this lamb myself like in a skillet or whatever. But I'm gonna let it rock out in the oven on a very, very low, nice and safe in my kitchen. And um, until I get some errands done. So uh, with that being said, I'm gonna get my workout in and then I'm going to um, marinate this stuff and get it in the oven so the simple ingredients that I'm using ta-da <laughs> okay so this is the pasta that I'm doing so delicious this is so healthy for you I like to stick with a lot of the organic stuff gluten-free you know I'm all about the healthy stuff in my kitchen I try my my best to get you know on good days I try my best to get really good pasta and stuff like that because it, it, it does make a difference guys you know digesting stuff you're you feel lighter you feel healthier when you eat healthier and better you know uh, better labels of food and good food um, so I'm doing a simple cilantro I have ground cinnamon I have dill I have ground sage and I have curry I also have sofrito just a little teensy bit of sofrito this is not my sofrito i already ran out of my sofrito y'all let me tell you i'm i demolished that sofrito in my house already <laughs> okay and then i also have and this is the same pasta here is the same pasta i have here okay same one sorry about the lighting there for a second that's exactly what's in there is in here all right and um i have some um, the grated cheese, uh, Parmesan and uh, Romanian cheese grated. Um, and uh, as you know, my daughter likes the regular craft cheese. Um, I have my olive oil. I have some tomatoes back here I'm going to play with as well and some my pasta. Um, so like I said, guys, it's your kitchen. Make it your own. And that's pretty much what I'm doing. I'm doing a simple twist today in my kitchen. Um, I am using a ragu chunky okay and this is a super chunky mushroom sauce I'm using that into my lamb it's gonna be a pasta lamb uh, saucy juicy spaghetti lamb that's what I'm doing if you want to call it that anyway guys so um, I just want to let you guys know thank you so much for supporting me on my YouTube channel it's so greatly appreciated all my friends and family you guys are the best um, like I said, I've been going through some up and downs, but I'm feeling 100% um, positive and staying focused. So um, I just have to carry on every day and make sure I peek a boo in that Bible. We all need to do that sometimes. We need to get into the word of God and just have faith and, you know, make sure you do those affirmations for yourself and for the people you love. Um, that's why I love doing those yogi teas because those yogi teas work uh, great um, they're very healthy for you and they also give you that nice um, feeling inside out of healthiness and the thought for the day which I love so very much um, so um, I can't express that enough but anyway for the meantime I'm gonna get these bad boys soaking into a beautiful little bit of apple cider with a little bit of salt because they are tough and I love using apple cider and I'm gonna tell you why on a lot of my meat not only because it's really healthy 
um, and it's good for you. Um, also, because it it makes the meat really soft too, it tenderizes it to perfection with that apple cider, you know, soaking on it with a little bit of salt. So that's a little thing that you know I just want to throw out there. Um, there's many reasons why I use apple cider on my meat. Um, you guys got you know I'm pretty sure if you Google it on anywhere. You'll see that um, apple cider is really good for soaking um, your meats in your kitchen. All right, um, so, and I started doing that a long time ago, by the way, before I even seen it on Google. Like, I don't know, recently, this uh, during COVID, I think I was when I actually saw it. But anyway, guys, I love you so much. And I'm gonna get my workout in. And um, so stay tuned. I'll probably just do like a lot of pictures because I have a lot going on. Um, like I said today, so I'll just do a lot of like a little slideshow and just upload these videos. So please catch these clips later. Super, super, super yummy. And you're just going to use, depending on your family portion size, you got to go by eye with this stuff. So good. And the cinnamon is a replacement for the mint I would use into the lamb um, because I don't have that in my kitchen today. And we're going to toss this up. That's it. That's all she wrote. Nice and clean after letting it sit and this is what I wanted to show you the meat gets so tenderized when you use that apple cider it really really cleans the lamb out it's really good for lamb because lamb is one of the meats that is a little difficult to cook if you're not familiar with it so I suggest you definitely use that apple cider to soak it in and let it sit for at least about 10 to 15 minutes in warm water. More cold than warm. All right, so I got my pans ready here. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I will, of course, some in the bottom, some on top. I cut up some uh, of my uh, cilantro here that I'm gonna be putting right on top. And the simple ingredients that we're using, as I mentioned earlier. And I have ginger today here. So let's read the thought for the day. Just got back from my kids' appointment, both my baby's appointments. Travel in grace knowing that you are protected by love. Wow, love it, thank you, amen. Me and my babies. 
is how we do. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna actually um put the meat in in the oven, but I figured I, I wanted to let it sit and tenderize a little bit, and then I still have some errands I have to run, so I'm just gonna now I'm gonna stick it in. My kids had their physicals, very good shape, very good health. Um, I mean, we've all gained some weight from just COVID, but. Um, my kids are a little up there with their weight, but other than that, vision, hearing, they're good. Oh, all right, guys, catch these clips later. All together. Here you go. Hi, guys, good morning. It's your girl, Belinda. What's up? Um... Well, I am getting ready to get an early morning workout in. And I'm all gelled up from head to toe. Anyway, um, I am cooking lamb today. I'm doing a delicious lamb with some really good, good organic pasta. Um, I'm gonna give you a little, a little peekaboo of what I have on my station, as always. Flip side. 